The Magi were not magicians per se, uh, they were scholars, walking universities. We know the Magi from the background of the, uh, certainly the Persians who took over the Babylonians and that they, they were a common group there. The Babylonian captivity is well known after Nebuchadnezzar destroyed Jerusalem. We know there was a colony of leading Jews that went to Babylon. Did they all return under Ezra? No, they didn't. Many stayed on in Babylon, in fact, for the next thousand years. What's the collection of Jewish sacred books? It's called the Talmud, right? The Babylonian Talmud. There were plenty of Jewish scholars around who could have told the Magi all about uh, the Hebrew prophecy in the book of Numbers, a star shall rise out of Jacob. So th they were not simply asking this question, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We've seen a star in the east and come to worship him. They weren't asking this out of any kind of a vacuum. Well, the wise men uh, saw the star in the east and they made a decision that they were going to go and pay homage worship uh, to this uh, Messiah. Uh, that was born uh, in Israel. Uh, they must have taken a considerable amount of time to raise the resources that are necessary. They would have needed camels and supplies and food, and they wanted to present gifts. So there would have been some passage of time to prepare for the journey, then there was the journey itself. And what impresses me, they had such great faith that even though they didn't know the location, they went anyway. And they said, you know, when we get to Jerusalem, somebody will be able to help us find the location. 